Hello? Hi, Jan. This is Tina. Is Janice going trick-or-treating this year? I think so. Cindy doesn't want to go. Why? She thinks it's for little kids. That's funny. She's only nine years old. I know. She thinks it's for babies. Tell her that babies cannot eat candy. She said Halloween is boring. What if she changes her mind after Halloween is over? It's only once a year. Then she has to wait another year. Maybe Janice can talk to her. Where are you and Janice going? Just around our neighborhood. There are a lot of homes around here. We live in an apartment. Maybe that's why it's boring. There aren't many kids here. Bring Cindy here on Halloween. We can all go together. What a great idea. Thanks. There's a full moon tonight. Isn't it beautiful? You know what they say about full moons. No. What do they say? Weird things happen when there's a full moon. That's silly. That's an old tale. You don't believe it? No, absolutely not. Do you believe in werewolves? What are werewolves? Creatures that are half human, half wolf. They come out when there's a full moon. Now you are being ridiculous. I'm going to look for the brightest star. Why? If you see the brightest star, you can make a wish and it will come true. Now you're being ridiculous. I'm going to wish that we stop this conversation. What if you see a werewolf tonight? You've been watching too many horror movies. Who are the beautiful flowers from? They're from my boyfriend. That's so sweet. Those are long-stemmed roses. I know. They're beautiful. How many are there? I counted 30. Wow, that must have been expensive. I need to find a vase. I don't want them to die. Is there one in the kitchen? I found one, but it's too small. Yeah, that bouquet is huge. You're a lucky woman. I wish my boyfriend would send me flowers. Is it a special occasion? No, not really. Do you know why he sent them? I have an idea. Why do you think he sent them? Well, he forgot my birthday yesterday. Oh, now I understand. Honey, are you okay? Yes, are you okay? Yeah, I've never felt an earthquake before. Me too. That was scary. We've experienced hurricanes, but never an earthquake. I'm going to look around and see how bad the damage is. Be careful. There could be aftershocks. I know. Don't go outside. The power is down. There could be power lines on the ground. Okay. Where are the dogs? I found them. They're both under the bed. They must be scared. I wish we could watch the news. I want to know how much damage this earthquake caused. Let me find the radio. We can listen to the news. I think it's in the garage. Do we have any batteries for it? Yeah. Let me get them. I knew the big one was coming one day, but we weren't prepared. Yeah. That was a big mistake. We better pack an emergency kit for next time. Hey, Robert, did you hear what happened in my history class today? No. What happened, Tom? Someone got caught cheating on the test. Are you serious? Who? Peter. Peter? Didn't he get caught cheating last month, too? Yeah. How did he cheat? He wrote some things on his hand, and Mrs. Jones saw it. What did Mrs. Jones do? She sent him to the principal's office. I think they called his parents. I saw them walking into the school office. Wow. He's going to be in big trouble. I know. His dad is really strict. Do you think they are going to suspend him from school? I don't know. But if he continues to cheat, Mrs. Jones isn't going to be able to trust him anymore. Not only Mrs. Jones, but other teachers, too. Hi, Carol. I have some new tomatoes and cucumbers from my garden. Would you like some? I would love some, Joan. The tomatoes you gave me last time were delicious. I know. I made spaghetti sauce with them. I'm growing more vegetables this year. What are you growing? Zucchinis and lettuce. That's amazing. You won't have to buy any more vegetables at the market. I know. I'll let you know when the zucchinis and lettuce are ready. Thank you. You're so generous. 
Well, you always make me apple pies with apples from your apple tree. I will make you more in exchange for the vegetables. That's a deal. Have you thought about selling your vegetables at the local farmer's market? No, I like giving them to my family and friends. That's nice of you. I live alone, so I can't eat all of the vegetables by myself. Hello? Hi, Margaret. This is Pamela. Hi, Pamela. Where have you been? You haven't been in school for a week. I've been really sick. I had the flu. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I feel much better. I'm going back to school on Monday. That's good. We all missed you. Thanks. Did I miss a lot of schoolwork? Yeah, we had homework every night, and we have a test next Friday. Oh, no. That makes me worry. Talk to the teacher. She will understand. I hope so. She is very strict. Would you like to borrow my notes from class? I can make copies of them and bring them to you. That would be great. I can study them this weekend. That's a good idea, but don't try to finish everything over the weekend. I know. I might get sick again. I'll see you around 4 p.m. Okay. Thank you. What happened, Mark? A tree fell during the windstorm and hit my house. Wow. Is everyone okay? Yes. Luckily, we weren't home at the time. Yes, you are very lucky. I know. It was the big tree in our yard. I can't believe it. Will insurance cover the repair costs? I hope so. I'm waiting for the insurance guy to come right now. What are you going to do? Do you have a place to stay while your house gets fixed? Yeah, we're going to stay at my parents' house. They don't live far from here. That's good. I really liked that tree. It was so big and beautiful. And now it's in my living room. You're a strong man if you can joke about it. Well, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. I would be crying right now. Believe me, Stan, I am crying on the inside. Joe, where are you going in such a hurry? Didn't you hear? The weather report is predicting heavy rain and severe flooding in our area. No, I didn't hear that. I haven't watched the news in a few days. I'm headed to the store to buy sandbags. Sandbags? Why? To stop the water from entering my house. You should do the same thing. I think I'll just evacuate if that happens. I can't do that. I need to stay here with all of my animals. You don't have any place to take them? No, I need to make sure they are safe. Do you need help loading the sandbags into your truck? That would be great. Aren't you worried at all? I guess I should be, but every time the weather person says something terrible is going to happen, it never does. Well, I'm not risking it this time. Now you have me worried. You should be. Let's have another backyard barbecue this weekend. Okay. That sounds fun. Should we invite some friends? Yeah. Let's invite a few couples. Okay. But we should buy some mosquito repellent this time. That's a good idea. Do you remember what happened last time? Yeah. Everyone was bitten by mosquitoes. It was awful. We were itchy for days. We used so much anti-itch cream. I think there are special candles that keep mosquitoes away. I saw a commercial for it a couple of days ago. Let's get those. Okay. I'll put it on the shopping list for the barbecue. Do you think our friends will come back to our party? We'll have to tell them we have mosquito repellent this time. Mosquitoes are such pests. And they carry diseases, too. I know. Now I feel like having an indoor party. Don't let the mosquitoes win. Hi, Alice. Do the kids go to school next Monday? Hi, Sue. No, they don't. It's President's Day. What is President's Day? It's an American holiday. It's a day where we honor the United States' former presidents. All of the former presidents? We used to celebrate our first president, George Washington's birthday, and our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Were they both born in February? Yes, but in the 1970s, a law was passed that all presidents would be honored on one day in February. It became a national holiday. 
is it celebrated on the same day each year we celebrate it on the third monday in february are businesses closed too some businesses like post offices and banks will be closed but not all businesses close do all schools close yes typically they do thanks for the information how do you know so much about president's day i used to be a history teacher hi joan your garden is looking beautiful thanks carol i've been working hard on it it looks like you have i water my flowers regularly and i use a good fertilizer my garden looks terrible no matter how hard i try everything dies are you using a good fertilizer i think so i also water my flowers regularly and trim any dead leaves you're doing all of the right things i don't know what's wrong maybe you don't have a green thumb what is a green thumb a green thumb means you have good gardening skills oh then i definitely do not have a green thumb my dad used to love gardening i learned everything from him can you teach me sure but i can't guarantee anything What are you doing, Carl? I'm spraying my house with pesticide. Why? We have an ant problem. They're everywhere. How did that happen? I think we left some food around outside and it attracted ants. Now they're coming into the house. That's terrible. This morning, I found some on the kitchen counter. That pesticide is toxic. You should be careful. I know. That's why I'm wearing a mask. I need to take care of this problem as soon as possible. I understand. My parents had an ant problem a couple of years ago. They used that stuff too. Did it work? Yeah, but it smelled bad for a few days. They were getting headaches. They came to stay with me. Oh, that's good to know. Maybe we will go stay at a hotel for a few days. You can stay with us if you want. No, that's okay. Carol is so upset because of the ants. I'll take her on a short trip. Good idea. Hello? Hi, Linda. This is Mom. Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. I'm just planning the menu for the Thanksgiving dinner. What can I help you with this year? Would you like to bring your delicious pumpkin pies again? Everyone loved them last year. Sure. Is there anything else? No. I think your sisters are bringing salads and other side dishes. Okay. Will our cousins be joining us? I don't think so. I think they have to go visit their in-laws this year. Okay. How many pumpkin pies should I bring? Maybe 3? That should be plenty. Okay. Are you roasting a big turkey this year? Yeah, probably around 20 pounds. Wow, that's big. I like having leftovers. I make turkey sandwiches and soups for your dad. Mom, I have a confession. What is it? Is it serious? I don't make my pumpkin pies. I buy them at the market. Oh, I know. The price tags were on the bottom of the pans. Good afternoon, Mrs. Bailey. Hello, Tommy. Why do you look so sad? I need to find a part-time job this summer. I want to buy a new guitar, but I don't have enough money. Well, can you do yard work? Yes, I do yard work for our house all the time. What do you need done? How about mowing and watering the lawn? I can do both of those things. Bill and I are getting too old to do it. Our son used to take care of our yard, but he moved to another state. I see. When can you start? I can start right now. That would be wonderful. The grass is growing really high. Mrs. Bailey? Yes, Tommy. May I ask how much the pay is? Of course, silly me. How does $30 a week sound? That sounds great. Thank you, Mrs. Bailey. If you do a good job, I may give you more work. I need someone to paint my fence. I would love to. I will start mowing now. You're a good boy, Tommy. Hello, Anne. Hi, Sue. Can you explain something to me? Sure. What is it? What is Halloween? Oh, it's a holiday that we celebrate once a year. 
Is it the same date every year? Yes. It's on October 31. What do people do on that day? People dress up in costumes and go to other people's homes to collect candy. Even strangers' homes? Yes. They knock on the doors and say, trick or treat. Then the homeowner gives out candy. Do adults do it too? Not many adults. It's usually just children. Isn't that unsafe? It can be, but parents go with them. I see. My son wants to do it this year. I didn't know what it was. You don't do this in your native country? No. I guess it's a new tradition we have to learn. It's a lot of fun. Your son will enjoy it. Hi, Sarah. What are you doing outside so late at night? Oh, hi, Janice. I couldn't sleep. What are you doing here? I come out here once in a while to look at the stars. Aren't they beautiful? Yes, they are. I never really paid attention to them. You're lucky tonight. The sky is clear, so the stars are very bright. We have a telescope, but we never use it. I may need to bring it outside one day. That's awesome. I wish we had one. You can borrow ours. That would be great. I've always been interested in astronomy. What's that? Astronomy is the study of stars, planets, and other objects in outer space. That would be really interesting to study. Yeah. I took a college class in astronomy once. It was fascinating. Look at the moon. It's a full moon. Yeah. Didn't you see it earlier tonight? No. I didn't notice it earlier. What a beautiful sight. It's supposed to be clear tomorrow night, too. Do you want to meet out here again? Sure. How about 11 p.m.? I'll be here. I'll bring my telescope. Hi, Steve. Why aren't you packing? Aren't you going home for Thanksgiving? Hey, John. No, the airplane ticket is too expensive. Oh, that's too bad. What are you going to do for Thanksgiving, then? I'm just going to spend it here in the dormitory. But the college campus will be closed, and most of our friends will be going home for the weekend. I know. I'll just use the time to study. That's not fun. Would you like to come over to my house this weekend? No, that's okay. I don't want to be a burden. Don't be silly. You won't be a burden. My mom always makes too much food. All of our relatives come over. We have a great time. Are you sure? I would really like that. Of course I'm sure. We have plenty of room, too. Thanks. You're a great friend. You're welcome. Now, you better start packing. I'm leaving soon. What time are we leaving? Three o'clock. It's a three-hour drive from here. Okay. Let me pay for gas. We can each pay half. Sounds great. Thanks again. I'll be ready soon. Hey, John. What are you doing? Oh, hi, Lee. I'm setting up tables and chairs for a family barbecue. Is it a special occasion? Tomorrow is the 4th of July. I know that tomorrow is July 4, but what is so important about it? You don't know. It's our country's Independence Day. What do you mean, Independence Day? On July 4, 1776, our country's founders declared independence from the rulers of Great Britain. How did America declare independence? We went to war against Great Britain, called the Revolutionary War, and won. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. So now the United States celebrates this day every year. How do you celebrate? We usually have a big barbecue party. Then we light fireworks when it gets dark. Oh, those loud and colorful explosions in the sky? Yeah. Would you like to come over and watch them with our family? Sure. Can I bring my children too? Of course. They will enjoy them. But it is very dangerous, so we have to watch the kids carefully. Hi, Carol. What are you looking for? Oh, hi, Joe. I'm looking for some materials to make a solar system. A solar system? Yeah. David has a science project. He has to make a model of the solar system with the sun and the planets. How about some balls? They can represent the planets and the sun. I was looking for some foam balls, but I can't find any in our garage. I might have some. 
Julie had to make a solar system model a few years ago. I might have some balls left over. That would be great. David wants to paint them and glue them on a black poster board. That's what Judy did, too. Was Judy in Mrs. Johnson's science class? Yes. She must have the students do the same project every year. It's a great project. We had a fun time doing it together. Are there eight or nine planets now? When I was a child, Pluto was a planet, but it's not considered a major planet anymore. I know. I think scientists are still debating that issue. David should ask his teacher. Good idea. Let me go look for the balls. I think I still have her model in the garage, too. I'll be right back. Thank you. I'll keep looking in my garage, too. You take such good care of your plants, Joan. I try my best. I love plants. I have killed every plant I have ever owned. How, Alice? I don't know. I water them and make sure they get enough sun, but they still die. That's strange. I know. I don't buy plants anymore. That's sad. Plants are beautiful, and they provide oxygen, too. Can you teach me how to care for plants? Sure. I'm going on vacation tomorrow. I'll be gone for a couple of weeks. We can start after I get back. Okay. Can we shop for the plants together? Yes. Let's get a couple of plants that require low maintenance. What do you mean by low maintenance? Plants that don't need much attention. That will be perfect for me. I'll make a list of good plants to start with. What are you going to do about all of your plants while you're on vacation? Well, I was going to ask you to water them for me, but I think I'll ask my sister instead. Yeah, that's a good idea. I just spoke with my mom. She and my dad are devastated. The fire is moving closer to their home. What can they do? The firefighters say there is nothing they can do at this point. They have to evacuate immediately. That's horrible. I know. I wish I could help them, but we live in another state. Where are they going to stay tonight? They're going to stay with my sister until they find another place to live. Why don't they stay with us, too? They can come here after things settle down. That might be a good idea. Maybe being away from there will help them forget about all of this. Well, they will never forget. But hopefully, they will be able to move on. Bob, I'm so sad. That was my childhood home. I have so many memories of that place. I'm sorry. I know this must be very difficult for you and your parents. Thanks. My sister, too. She and I grew up in that house. My parents lived there for forty years. I can't believe a wildfire can destroy everything so quickly. It's just terrible. They're going to lose everything. The firefighters gave them only a few hours to pack. Is anyone helping them pack? Yeah, my sister is with them. She's going to call me later tonight. Hi, Joan. Where are you going? Hi, Helen. I'm taking my grandchildren to a butterfly conservatory today. What is that? It's a place that displays butterflies, and you can learn all about them. So it's like a museum for butterflies? Yes, but these butterflies are alive. They're alive? Yes, they fly around the room, and sometimes they even land on you. A butterfly landed on my head once. That's so fun. It is is there are so many different kinds of butterflies too they're so beautiful their colors and designs are spectacular your grandkids are going to enjoy it i hope so if i were a child i would enjoy it but times have changed kids prefer to watch television and play video games these days i understand how old are your grandchildren my granddaughter is five years old, and my grandson is seven years old. I think they're both at a good age to enjoy it. My granddaughter likes to draw butterflies, and my grandson loves insects. So I thought they would love this. I think they will. Don't worry about it so much. Just go and have a good time. Okay. I better go now. Have fun. 
Hi, Anne. Hi, Sue. I have a question about Thanksgiving. What does that day mean? It's an American holiday that's celebrated once a year. What is the date? There is no actual date. It is different every year. It is on the fourth Thursday in November. That's interesting. Why do Americans celebrate this day? It first started many years ago after the pilgrims settled in America. They wanted to celebrate the first harvest after settling in America. Oh, I see. Is there anything special Americans do on that day, like fireworks on the Fourth of July? We typically roast a whole turkey and make lots of other dishes like potatoes and stuffing. Wow, that sounds like a feast. Can your family eat all of that? We invite our relatives and celebrate this day together. It's like a family reunion. It is, and pumpkin pie is usually the dessert because pumpkins are in season in the fall. It sounds like a nice tradition. Nowadays, many people celebrate this day to give thanks for all of their blessings, like family and good health. I like this tradition. Maybe I will roast a turkey this year. Will you teach me? Sure, I would love to. I have many great recipes I can share with you.